Hey everyone, it's time for another DRS video, by which I mean today is Sunday, I have a device and I'm going to review it. And this time around, it's nothing with video games related, although there is some games in it, but anyway, let's take a trip back to 2005 me with something that I bought, yeah, back in 2005. It is Plump. Up you go. Yes, it is the... Asus MyPal 8620BT Pocket PC. Yes, released during a time when PDAs were a necessity for college students and office people and anybody who worked in the corporate structure. So, yep, I uh, bought this back in 2005 with money that I was given as a high school graduation gift and stuff. And whatever money left over was spent on this. And, yep, had some good times with it and sold it in 2009 for a PSP and I just bought this back in 2018 I believe yeah but yep yeah, as we look at the box with some silhouettes or shadows with some data transferring going on and such which is nice and a sticker that says bundled in this package are valuable software programs such as X-Ranger 3D game and IA Presenter worth $120, which is really nice. Got some icons on the bottom. 400 megahertz, that's good. Light, because of course, slim. Also, of course, CF slot, compact flash, and Bluetooth. Yes, it's heavily advertising Bluetooth, and it's from Asus. That's good to know. Uh, what do we have on the bottom? More icons, more of the same. This one looks like the head from the uh, that one game that says, Where did you learn to fly? A cell phone, another PDA, a car, keyboard and mouse, a laptop and a printer. Nice. And more beaming stuff, same icons on this. <laughs> same as the front here. What do we have here? Again, my pal, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, Microsoft Active Sync 3.7 system requirements. It's supported op <laughs> supported operating systems. Uh, you need Windows 2000, Windows 98 SE, Windows ME, and Windows XP. Yeah, not Windows XP. It's Windows XP because I'm sure that's how most geeks and tech scam call center guys speak like that. Uh, Microsoft Outlook 98 or later requirement for required for synchronization to the desktop or potential computer of email, calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes. Outlook 2002 recommended. Good to know. Microsoft Internet Explorer 4.0 or later, hmm, hard disk drive with 12 or 65 of those magical megabytes of available hard disk space. Yes, because SSD weren't, SSDs weren't around that time. And actual requirements will vary based on section of features and user configuration, blah, 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 blah. We, we get it. Available 9 or 25 pin <laughs> communications ports. Yeah, that's good to know because your data transfer is going to be as equivalent as getting in line and getting your foot in a maid cafe. Yeah, astute observation there. One CD-ROM drive. Yep, you need one because if you have two, then I don't know what's going on. VGA graphics card, compatible keyboard, and compatible input device. Yep, that's good to know. Same icons on this side as well. Not much to talk about. What does it include? The device, the cradle, AC adapter, Microsoft Quick Manual. <laughs> Yes, Microsoft Quick Start Guide, that's good to know. Microsoft Quick Start Guide, I said that again, a manual Quick Start Guide, I meant to say Microsoft Companion CD, which includes Outlook 2002 and Active Sync and a protection case and a bonus CD, which I'm guessing it's this thing right here. Yep, and nothing on this side as well. Eh, we got more of the same specifications. Hmm, let's take a look. Processor 400 megahertz Intel. That's yep. That's good. Operating system Windows Mobile 2003. Hmm. That's also good. I think it's a bit better than Windows C. I, I don't know. Display 3.5 inch brilliant transfective TFT LCD. Yes. 655364 color 16 bit display 240 by 320 resolution. Hmm, that's good to know. 64 megabytes of that flash and 64 megabytes of SD RAM. Hmm, that is good to know. One compact flash type 2 card slot at 3.3 or 5 volts. Hmm, 
Not sure why you need a reading on volts, but oh well. And of course, has a microphone and speaker and all that jazz. Heavily advertises Bluetooth, uh, 1300 mega, m mega, hmm, that'd be nice. No, 1300 milliamp <laughs> rechargeable battery. <laughs> that's good to know. That's what that's what the size looks like, and it weighs 141 grams, roughly about mm, give or take three pounds. I don't know. I don't have a scale with me to figure that out. Oh, <laughs> 55.2 megabytes of SD RAM user accessible for Western language, and 53.2 megabytes SD card user accessible for Eastern language. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, that's a huge gap. <laughs> Some specifications are supposed to change without notice. Oh, great. So I'm getting something else then. Uh, presumably. I don't know. And there's Bluetooth again. There's Windows Mobile again. FCC, CE, UL listed, and all that stuff. I don't think there's a don't toss it in the bin or a sad onion. Because something like this, you don't need no sad onions and Asus and all that stuff. <laughs> okay, I think, <laughs> I think enough putting it off putting it off let's go ahead and open the box and see what we're getting ourselves and uh, adjust the camera while we're at it there we go open 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 ah charge before use okay I'll be sure to do that what do we get we get oh a warranty card <laughs> that's the thing I've always wanted Aces warranty card for information, blah, 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 blah. You fill in your own information. That's good to know. Limited warranty and and readings. Yep, that's good to know. Uh, a quick start guide on how to use a PDA, basically. Yep, my pal basics, typing, writing, drawing, and recording. So, yep. It has an on-screen keyboard. You could type stuff. You could write stuff. And you could draw stuff. And record your own voice. And, yeah, wonder. <laughs> Yep, you can just figure that out. It, oh, it's not a book, it's a pamphlet. Oh well. Getting to know my pal. Mmm, that sounds a bit... <laughs> I'll let you figure that one out. Setting up my pal, synchronizing my pal, and... Pocket PC software. There's plenty of software to go along. My pal basics. <laughs> and apparently that's what Windows Mobile 2003 looks like. Yeah, that, that's just that's just great. Let's put that to one side. Oh, here's the user manual. Mm, it's a it's a very thick book. That's how many pages this has. Uh, roughly about this many pages, something like that. It's just uh, uh, how to do stuff. Basically, it's much like the quick start guide, but oversimplified. I guess that's how user manuals work. And oh. And what is this? Oh, another warranty card for for special provisions for Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea. Hmm. And on the back, a warranty and special provisions for Canada. So, yep. What could I say? There's special provisions for those four countries of Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea. And I'm guessing it's the same as the other. Oh. Ah, there's some more. <laughs> Warranty and special provisions for England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. Aye. That's good to know. <laughs> Is there any more? Ah, I guess so. Guarantee de disposition particulier pour le Canada. Oh. Same thing in Canada, but it's in, it's in French. Oh, there's another one. Warranty and special provisions for Unite for the US and any other country. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over the fact that you have warranty and special provisions not just for the U.S. but any other country. So, why well, you have to put the same thing for countries like Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Papua New Guinea, etc.? I I don't know. Let's yeah, just look at the software. Oh, oh, there's a Asus Pocket PC Premium for Outlook, and and we get the disc. If I can get it out without scratching it. There's the the bonus CD. Ah, they weren't lying about that bonus CD. It includes general tools, games, free goodies, and trial software. That's good to know. And yep. And you get another piece. And 
another piece of cardboard. I've always liked pieces of cardboard in a box that's made out of cardboard and such. And this is the uh, the companion seat. You know what? Let me just get it out. There we go. The companion CD, which includes Outlook 2002 and Active Sync. Yes, that is good. Life is this easy. I wish it was. And I think there's another bit here. Yes, there is another bit here. Let's open it up and get ourselves. Hey, what do you know? It's a power brick. It's a brick that gives out power, and it's a US one because I'm sure, I'm sure there's others out there that has these multi multi plugs, you know, for other countries as Europe, UK, and Australia and such. But I got the US, so this can go plugged into the wall, no problem. And of course, there's the the cradle or docking station, whatever you want to call it. Proprietary, proprietary on one end, USB on the other. I'm guessing there's a little hole so you could plug it in to charge and all that stuff. And finally, I think, that, ah, I think that's all there is to it. So let me just put it to one side. Don't want to drop it because, and it comes in this very nice, uh, good quality case per se. And open it up. And we have the device itself. It's itself. There's the device itself. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's see what we're getting into. This is a nice looking. Uh, I remember. <laughs> I remember back in 2005 getting it, unboxing it, and such. And yep, I was really amazed. So what do we got? We got screen. Have my pal pocket PC. Two little holes. I'm guessing that's where the microphone and a button to open up the <laughs> the recording function which is nice and on one side got ourselves a stylus that's good to know put that in here uh, yep my pal the screen and you got buttons here you got the home button got a calendar button a d-pad with a d-pad with a d-pad with some buttons I guess you could say no but a d-pad in four directions you could press down for an extra function extra function <laughs> yeah I'm not doing well today uh, a tasks button I believe and no what is this a to-do disk ah, trying to remember now okay so we got we got home calendar contacts and a to-do list or tasks and all that stuff that's good to know there's a speaker here uh, you got nothing on this side other than where we get stylus, yeah. Uh, compact flash, a backwards one, but a <laughs> CF card nonetheless. 512, 3.3 volts. Ah, yes, 512 megabytes from the good folks at Kingston. Yes, because Kingston makes, uh, your mileage may vary on the quality of their uh, their cards. And uh, how, could I, how did I put this in? Oh, how could I put this in? Can I, can I even put this in? Uh, I'll sort that out later. And of course, yeah, like I said, I'll sort it out later. I don't know if you can make that out, but it says warranty. Ooh, that is warrants and stuff. Of course, on the top, you got your headphones because that's where you can put in headphones. You can figure that one out. Again, the stylus can't can't get too much of that, and the proprietary connector for the docking station and such, and of course the DC in which you could plug it into to charge and stuff. And one side you have, oh, yeah, you got infrared. Not sure why, but you have infrared. <sighs> this thing has Bluetooth, and I don't understand why. <clears throat> But yeah, and of course, there's the reset hole, the reset button per se. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess there's nothing left but to hold the power button and turn it on. If it'll only turn on. Please turn on. I did what the box said, I believe. <sighs> well... That went well, did it? <laughs> I forgot to do what the box said. Oh man, 
it said charge before use I should have done that well this DRS video went well didn't it great